Hey, what's going on? This is Eric with Olympic Health Physics, and today we're going to be showing you how to do an extrinsic flood. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be walking through the uh, steps that you need to take in order to flood your gamma cameras uh, for daily quality control. In this video, we're going to be going through the extrinsic flood, so keeping the collimators on. We're going to walk through how to position your sh uh, sheet source, as well as how to set up your camera for, um, for the right acquisition parameters. The first thing that we want to do is we actually want to bring the detector heads in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now that I have my detectors pulled all the way in, we can go ahead and um, place our sheet source on the detector. When you're positioning the sheet source, you want to make sure that um, the sheet actually covers the full surface of the detector so that we're um, creating a uniform flood field on our, uh, on our cameras. Now that we have our sheet source position, we can go ahead and set up our uh, flood image. So we select our protocol. We want to make sure that the isotope is set to cobalt, because this is an extrinsic flood. We've got a 1024 matrix on a Siemens system. We have to run in a 1024 matrix to get our uh, quantitative values at the end. And we are running on both detectors here and we want our stop conditions to be at 10 million counts or 10,000 K counts. Both images are labeled so we can prepare and start. Okay so our flood's completed um, and we can take a look at the uh, values, the quantitative values and all of those look good. They're all within the acceptable criteria, the pass criteria for this system. Um, and if you want to take a look at what those uh, values should be for a Siemens Symbia, which is what we're on, you can go back and look at a um, previous video that we did about uh, Symbia gamma camera quality control. You also can take a look at the flood images here and evaluate those for any kind of non-uniformities. You want to make sure that they're, they're nice and uniform, you're not seeing any tubes or any other artifacts. Uh, that are displaying in your image. And there you have it. That's your extrinsic uh, flood QC, extrinsic uniformity. Again, this is on a Siemens Symbia. Um, so you can do auto QC with the sources that are in the table, but this was a video just to show you how to do uh, a manual QC. And you can use the same technique uh, regardless of what vendor or what manufacturer uh, system you're on, whether you're on a Philips system or a GE or anything else. The same, um, same thing would apply. Basically, put your sheet source on the detector, acquire your uniform image, uh, and then run it through a processing algorithm to get quantitative results and look at the image, uh, not only quantitatively, but also look at it qualitatively to see if it passes both of those. One other thing to mention here is that we do have quality control forms on our website. We're going to link to them in the description below. So if you need quality control forms to document your quality control uh, results like extrinsic uh, daily floods, feel free to go and download those. They're free for, for you to use. If you have any questions or comments on gamma camera quality control or uh, acquiring uniformity images or flood images, feel free to drop us a note and we'll be happy to help you out. 